when you're a baby in your mother's womb, you're sterile. Your gut is sterile, brother. And then if you're delivered vaginally, you come down and you have a good gulp of your mum's poo. And that's really what sets you up for the rest of your life in a funny way. Things are added to it. <laughs> but if you are delivered by cesarean section, and increasingly in Australia you are, two things happen. One is you're hit. Your mum is exposed to a lot of antibiotics. And the other thing that happens is the gut bacteria you are exposed to initially is not your mum's, but kind of almost anything else, it comes across on the... Now, the person speaking here is Michael Mosley, and he did go to medical school, but never practiced medicine. And he is a TV and radio journalist who was talking about how mode of delivery, vaginally versus cesarean delivery, can affect the gut microbiome of the neonate and infant and the potential long-term consequences of that as we become adults. So I'm going to do my best to break it down for you so it actually makes sense. Now, the first 100 days after birth are crucial for both the maturation of the immune system and also for the development of the gut microbiome. Now, neonates are exposed to uh, the maternal microbiome through uh, exposure to the vagina, vaginal micro microbiome, feces, breast milk, their mouth microbiome, uh, skin, and then also the surrounding environment. And here are some things that can impact the microbiome in the first 1,000 days, uh, pause to read. Now we do know that infants delivered vaginally are exposed to a different microbiome than infants born via cesarean. And we do know through studies that uh, infants born via cesarean section are at increased risk for things like asthma, uh, allergies, obesity, and diabetes later in life. So what can we do to kind of counteract this? Um, because cesarean deliveries are necessary for a lot of people. Here are a few things that can be done to help uh, kind of counteract the effects of cesarean section on that neonatal microbiome. I want to close with this though. Vaginal seeding is not recommended to counteract the effects of a cesarean section on the neonatal and infant gut microbiome. And contrary to what he said, maternal antibiotic use during a cesarean delivery does not have an added impact uh, on the infant and neonatal gut microbiome.